Hello, Port St. Lucie. It has been my privilege to spend this time with you via video during the past eight weeks as our city has navigated through these unprecedented times. As the city and state begin working through the governor's step-by-step -step plan for recovery, this will be my last weekly video update. Of course, the city will continue to communicate the most up-to-minute information on all of our platforms. And this week, I have some very important information to share. On Monday night, the City Council unanimously approved two emergency mortgage and rental assistance grant programs for Port St. Lucie residents. These are for those whose finances have been directly impacted by the COVID-19 crisis. The first one begins on Monday, May 18th at 8 a.m. and applicants can pre-qualify online at cityofpsl.com slash community services. Assistance is limited to one-time payment equal to a maximum of two months rent or mortgage payments, not to exceed $3,000, and until grant funds are exhausted. This program is paid for by a special revenue account that is designated for affordable housing programs and projects, which is funded by developer contributions, not property taxes. We're working on a second program that will utilize federal grant funds from the Community Development Block Grant Program. We're still working out the details about this mortgage and rental assistance program. So please stay tuned to the city's social media, website, and e-newsletters for more details in the coming weeks. Another hot topic this week has been summer camps. Many parents have asked if the city's Parks and Recreation Department will continue its camps this year. The answer is yes, but with some changes to protect our campers and staff. Currently, we expect to operate our Venture Youth Camp Program at limited enrollment starting Monday, June 8th. The program offered for youth ages 6 through 11 is expected to last nine weeks and will conclude on Friday, August 7th. Online registration will begin Monday, May 18th. Unfortunately though, in light of the CDC protocols in place through the COVID-19 pandemic, the city must cancel our 2020 under the CTOT camp and extreme team camp. The decision to cancel these two summer camp programs was not taken lightly, as we know that families within our community rely upon those programs. The city's Mid-Florida Credit Union Event Center is very proud to partner with the Boys and Girls Club of St. Lucie County to host its summer camps this year. Those began on Monday with special protocols and protections in place to ensure social distancing and a safe camping experience. I also wanted to let you know about another valuable community recovery resource. The City of Port St. Lucie, Fort Pierce, and St. Lucie County have teamed up to create RecoverStLucie.org. This is a comprehensive website with information about local, social, business, and personal needs related to COVID-19. And please don't forget that the city is also continually updating our page at cityofpsl.com slash COVID-19. So while this will be the final weekly video update, please rest assured that the City of PSL will continue to communicate vital updates on a daily and weekly basis on all our platforms. I encourage you to stay plugged into the City's Facebook, Nextdoor, and Twitter accounts and to sign up for our e-newsletters. We're here for you as we all implement the Governor's plan. Also, please remember the only way for our recovery to continue is for all of us to work together to stay safe. We strongly encourage you to continue to wear a face covering while in public and to follow the CDC's social distancing guidelines. Together, we will get through this. Thank you, Port St. Lucie.